Hey everyone, I'm Joanna Gaines and I'm gonna show you a few simple ways you can freshen up your tabletop for spring and it only takes a few new pieces. I always start by layering in accent plates. I love these pieces from the new collection. Details like scalloped edges help elevate your table and make a statement while working within a simple color palette. I also like to switch out my table linens. If you only make one change, this is one that's really affordable and goes a long way to freshen things up. This table runner has just enough pattern to add some interest, and these napkins are the perfect touch of color for spring. Then I mix in serving dishes. These platters really help elevate the presentation. For your finishing touch, add a vase with a simple stem. I like something laid back but interesting like dogwood to give your table a little extra character. My favorite thing about this look is that it's simple enough for anyone to do, and it uses a mix of new elements for spring with pieces that you already have. Hi everyone, I'm Joanna Gaines, and today I'm going to show you how to style a desk for kids. I always like to start with storage. Getting rid of clutter helps kids focus and allows space for them to create. Office trays are great for papers, and baskets are my go-tos for gathering oversized crafts. Reading is a huge part of learning, and a library stamp is a cute idea to get kids excited about books. This curiosity shelf is a fun way to display some of their favorite things. I find that kids get creative on their own if they have all the right tools within reach. Crayons, pencils, washi tape, and paper. Lots and lots of paper. Chalkboards are great for drawing, plus you can leave notes for your kiddos. This one is also magnetic for hanging art. And don't forget the lighting. I love that this cage lamp adds an element of industrial design. To finish the space, I really like to incorporate pieces that are inspiring and invite hands-on learning, like these wall charts and positive sayings. One of my favorites is this desktop globe. It's a modern twist on a classic piece. This area is right off the kitchen, but you can create a space like this in a playroom, kid's bedroom, or a corner of your home office. This project was a flip house that Chip and I worked on and we just completed. And this little study nook is one of my favorite rooms in this house. I think what I really love about it is the idea that this was once just a storage room that had no purpose other than storing boxes, shutting the door, and kind of hiding the mess. What I love about it now is that we've lightened it up, we painted the floors, we actually accentuated the vault. So the current vault that's here was already here because this was attic space. So what I wanted to do was just add a little more character in here, add the shiplap that we ended up staining and distressing, and then we added all these built-ins. Work with the outline that you have, create unique built-ins, and if you have a vault, think of ways that you can accentuate and highlight the cool things about the space. When designing with the coastal theme for the Armoyan project, I didn't want to go too literal with it. So I used simple, thoughtful details to tie it all together and keep the design relaxed and calming, not overwhelming. I really love how quaint and cozy it is in here. The color on the walls I decided to use was a lighter blue-gray tone, but it still has that fresh, clean way about it. When you're trying to carry on a theme, you can keep it subtle. We have the sand and these really cool hurricane jars. Fun little glass things with seashells. My client loves shells. The lamps with the rope, but also this driftwood that we found um, here in Waco. It's stuff like this that I think even though we're in Texas, you can still have what you want. Let's check out the master bathroom. I really like this bathroom because it's not overbearing. There's a lot of texture going on and a lot of dimension, but it's not too much. I love these fun pendant lights that we chose, these rotating mirrors. We use a really light palette in here, softer gray on the floor. One of the things I love the most in this bathroom is this new shower that we got for our clients. We've got this really cool basket weave on the wall and then we have these fun pebbles on the floor. We've made their shower twice as big, but with this glass and all this texture, I just really feel like it makes a huge statement in this bathroom. So this is the master suite at the Shotgun House and what's crazy about this master bedroom is that this used to be the kitchen. The existing layout really didn't work with our clients, and so we had to reconfigure the space. What's fun about smaller spaces is it really challenges your creativity, and it makes you maximize the space that you've got. Here, we didn't have room for end tables, so we just did these simple floating shelves. They don't take up really any room, but there's purpose there, and it really fits the space. And then with all the design elements that we blended in here, whether it be this oversized large mirror, this lower lying bed, all these elements make this room actually feel bigger instead of smaller. Let's go check out the master bathroom. 
I really wanted the bathroom to have a clean feel to it, almost like a spa. You've got the heavy duty concrete countertops with the white oak cabinets blended with this really fun, colorful tile. I think it really makes a big statement in here, even though it is a smaller space, you can see that every square foot of this is really unique in its design. For the Childers family, downsizing to a smaller home was a chance to clear the clutter and refresh their setting. As for Stacy, she wanted charm, she wanted character, but she also wanted simplicity. My favorite thing about this kitchen is the backsplash. My client loved blue and white, so we found this really fun handmade tile that I think really just sets the stage for this kitchen. I tried to keep everything else very simple so it wasn't overwhelming for her. You know, a lot of people when they're designing their kitchen don't consider open shelving. I think a lot of people are intimidated by it. They wonder, is it gonna make my kitchen seem cluttered? What I love about open shelving is it really gives the kitchen this feel of just an open, airy space. And what I do is keep it very simple. The key is grouping things together, not doing too much color if you have a great backsplash, but if you happen to have a more simple backsplash or no backsplash at all, this is not expensive at all. You know, I really think one of the most important things about a home is the first impression, the curb appeal. You know, in this case, we had a really long, dated, ranch-style house. So the challenge was updating this house, but also drawing it out so it didn't seem just like a really long house. So a few of the things I played with was the landscape. I really wanted to give it a fresh, pop a color, but I also wanted to keep it simple for the client. I used a variety of grasses, but I also chose this little rock pathway, which obviously is very low maintenance, but it also adds texture to the landscape that I think really makes it pop. One of my favorite things we did on this porch was really draw it out. And one of the things I really wanted to do was really beef up these columns. So we added a rock skirt, this great concrete ledge, and then these really pretty cedar posts. The key is that your eye goes to the center of the house, which is the porch. And I think all these elements really brought this home alive. You know, I really think it added a substantial amount of curb appeal. And I really feel like now this house is set apart. When designing the Ridley home, I wanted to make sure it felt like a guy's place without it being too dark and heavy. So here in the master bedroom, I just really love how simple and clean it is in here. This room is just a really good blend of texture, wood, and metal elements. But I also just love that the trim is darker than the wall, so it really kind of does a play on color. It has that masculine feel in here, but it's not too heavy, where it still feels pretty light and airy. You know, this headboard was really simple to make. We basically had our welder, who did these really cool sliding doors, make this headboard so it tied in. We've got two of these doors that lead into the walk-in closet and the master bathroom. You know, I just really love the texture and the blend that this brings to the rest of this room. I feel like it gives it that masculine touch. And here in the master bathroom, you'll see that carried in here as well. I love these concrete countertops. We did this double vanity. Even though the space is limited, we still did these really cool wall mount faucets. But one of my favorite things in here is this wall mounted shelf with the wood. So it really, again, it brings that balance to this darker tile, these harsher elements. I think the wood really tones all that down. It also gives really good practical storage for my client. This project was a really fun one for me. I really feel like this is the ultimate bachelor pad. There's a really good blend of simple elements mixed with modern and that ranch style that I know you really like. I really enjoyed working on the Ridley project. It was a chance to transform three rooms into one living space. He really wanted a wide open space to entertain in for friends and family. We ended up eliminating all the walls in this main living space to create a really nice wide open space for him. You know, this used to be the formal living room and now I love that all the walls are gone, it's open up, and this is now his dining area. What's really great about this, he's got these really pretty nice new windows that look off to the front porch and the front yard. So I think this is just a great setting to entertain family and friends. One of the main things you need to keep in mind when you're designing a wide open space like this is to make sure that the design in each space is consistent with each other since it's all in one room. What I really love about this space in here is that even though now we're in the living room, you've got the concrete hearth that ties in with the countertops, you've got the reclaimed wood that ties in really well with the island and the recessed ceiling. I had to keep in mind what was happening with the kitchen, the dining room, and the entry so that it all felt consistent and there was a really nice flow. My client really wanted a beachy, kind of coastal vibe, and I really was having a hard time with what I was gonna put on this wall. This wall is a bigger wall, this couch is a bigger couch, 
And so no matter what, everywhere I looked, there wasn't a piece that I loved. You know, the challenge for me was what I had in my mind, I just couldn't find. No matter what store I went to, as much as I searched up and down, I couldn't find what was in my head. So I just thought, scratch that, let's make something else that will work for the space. When I went to the antique store with Chip, we found these really cool antique pieces of coral. I love them, but they still weren't substantial enough to go over the couch. So in this case, I had these shiplap frames built, but you can easily go to any store, buy some old frames or new frames, or build your own. But what I love about this is now you've created your own artwork. You know, it started as a challenge, ended as something that now I really look at this and I love it. I think it makes a statement in here and it's definitely a one of a kind piece for my clients. In the Armorium project, Chris really wanted a music room away from the rest of the house. Since that space didn't exist in the original floor plan, we had to get creative. You know, this room was a really fun project because this was originally the garage. And I feel like one of the challenges with garage conversions is that even after the update, it still feels and kind of even sounds like it was a garage. I think the biggest change is just all new drywall, we added baseboards and trim, which really gives it a finished look. Now when people walk in here, this really feels like it was a natural part of the space to begin with. You know, the rest of the house really does feel light and airy, but in here, I wanted it to feel like my client's space. I mean, he wanted kind of darker tones in here. He wanted his music. He wanted things that were really reflective of what he's inspired by. So I did a more masculine fan that was a little bigger than normal. I also did darker floors in here, a really neutral gray on the walls. I even wanted to incorporate the wood that's on the bar that Clint made. All those elements are what really make it feel a little more masculine in this space. So really, I think the thing I love most about this room in general is that it's really reflective of my client and what he's inspired by. The Zan family home needed a total renovation, but one thing we did not need to fix was the beautiful view. The scenery outside of this home inspired my design throughout the home, especially the main living space. One of the things I love about this room is just how wide open it is and how simple the colors are. There's contrast, but it's really clean because really when you look out every window, there's just a beautiful view and I didn't want what was going on in here competing with what you see outside the window. So as you can see, we trimmed out all the windows and the doors with really over here in the living room. I just really love how it's kind of the anchor of this room. It's really symmetrical, it's clean, it's classic. Again, it focuses on what's beyond these walls, which is the view in the backyard. Come check out the dining room. You know, I was really strategic about where I placed the dining room in this new layout. It's front and center, it's under this really cool chandelier, and then the backdrop is this amazing open kitchen. But what I love about this table is my client said this is where she would eat when she was a little kid at her granddad's table, and so the fact that we got to restore it, put it back in this house, I think was really meaningful to our clients. A fun design element that we incorporated in this modern project were these really simple boxes. What I feel like makes this modern is it's very clean line, it's simple, it's pretty raw, and what I like about it is just the balance of it with the plaster behind it. You can really incorporate this look anywhere, whether it be the living room in this space, for instance, or a kid's bedroom, a playroom. You can think through this on a lot of different levels, even a mudroom, great for storage, but it also can highlight any of your favorite art pieces, your favorite books, so it really can go a long way. What's great about it for any space that you've got, whether you're modern, traditional, or rustic, you can change the idea of these boxes. Keep the concept the same, but change it whether you use reclaimed wood, slatted wood. What's great about this entire concept is you don't have to spend $1,500 on a piece of furniture. This all costs about $150 and it's unique. And as time goes on, you can add to it, take away, modify it. But I think it's interesting enough to really set the space apart. The Downs really wanted an open and welcoming entry. Sometimes in these older homes, there's interesting obstacles you have to overcome. One of the biggest challenges with this project was the layout of this house. Originally, when you walked in, there was a huge fireplace right here in the middle, but you couldn't see the rest of the house. My clients really wanted an open feel. They wanted it light and airy in here, but with that brick structure that was really messing up the flow. So we played around with the design and the layout of this house, and I thought to make a grander entry, it would be really cool to do his or her offices in the front of the house rather than in the back. So as you can see here, I've got her office here, but again, all the same trim work is happening, so there's a really great deal of balance. 
and then you've got this really pretty light fixture up here that just sets the stage and it, it really feels warm and inviting. But now you're not walking into a huge structure that's blocking the view. The Downs home is over 100 years old, so I wanted to create a very classic design that didn't take away from the original character, but also blend that with some modern touches. Over here in the dining room, this is the grand room to me. I mean, you have this really large chandelier. I like to do light fixtures that make a statement, and I really feel like this light fixture is bold, pairs well with this beautiful table that Clint made. But another thing we did is just play off all the natural light that comes in. We added a really cool window seat um, to just make function more in the space. They wanted more seating in here, so that was just a natural way to add it. Now onto the kitchen. They like the idea of blue cabinets, um, so we did lower cabinets that are blue. There's still a really classic way about this kitchen. We have the subway tile that they wanted, the really beautiful Carrera marble. And then he got his stainless farm sink, which is something that he really wanted. I think this kitchen is fun because there's a lot of mix and match going on. You've got a, a mix of metals, you've got some brass, you've got some stainless. We also did a really fun play on color. So I feel like when you see this kitchen, it's just packed with character. When designing the living room for the Ferguson family, I created the open concept that they asked for and made distinctive cosmetic updates to the room so it matched their style and their needs. So originally in the space, there were really thin columns and then just some white railing. And I really wanted to beef the columns up, make them more substantial, a little more formal. So we removed the railing altogether to really open up the space and then trimmed out the existing columns. This originally was a set of French doors that led out to the sunroom. Now we've created this double-sided fireplace, put some really pretty quartzite here, and then did a really pretty trim around it to make it have clean but pretty elegant look. Over here with the stairs, you know, they had the dated railing. So we removed the existing railing. We just came back with a really clean, simple railing. But I just think the blend of the white, the natural, really pretty wood mixed with the gray trim, you know, it ties in now to the updates of the house. I think a lot of moms are a little intimidated of the idea of creating a kid's room without it feeling like it's cluttered, it's super messy. So the key is really containing the mess in creative ways. Up here, as you see, we've got a lot of fun pencils, but they're in jars. So these only come down when mom's around, but it's cute. It actually adds a fun design element, but it's also really practical. Even here with the blocks. These are blocks the kids play with, but they're contained in a really cute basket. So it looks organized and the color is really what makes it interesting. Another thing I like to use in kids' spaces are magnetic boards, hanging baskets. These are practical and functional elements that really help contain the mess, but still look really creative and cute even though they're out in the open. Another way we did this here, as you see, I've got this really great cement bowl. I added a lot of colors in here. This just makes the space fun for the kids. It makes it practical for them. I've taught my kids that when they're done, it's cleanup time, they know where all the toys go. And this not only helps you keep things organized, but it teaches them to take responsibility. Kitchen is the heart of the home and often serves many purposes for a young family. When designing this kitchen for the Fergusons, I wanted to create a space that was both beautiful and functional for the day to day. When you walk into the kitchen, my your children. And so I really wanted to create a nice flow in here. I wanted to design two cabinets in the kitchen that are almost like a hutch. She collects really pretty dishes and I know with anyone that collects dishes they want to display them. So I wanted to incorporate that in the kitchen design and I think this is really elegant. It's pretty, it's simple, but her china and her dishes still really pop. And I think a lot of people get scared at the idea of mixing metals in the kitchen. So just have fun with it. It's really finding pieces you love and implementing them in your home.